Hey y'all, hey y'all, we getting ready to do some buttercream, some ABC, which is American buttercream. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sticks of salted butter, because I'm doing two batches. I have measured out um, two cups of sweet text high ratio shortening that will make my buttercream crisp so it'll hold this so it hold when I get ready to pipe. So I have a good piping uh, consistency. And we have some powdered sugar, dummy nose powdered sugar, 1,800 grams, 1,814 grams, 1,814 grams to be exact. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Jewel's Kitchen Creation, like, share. We're going to put eight sticks of this butter in this uh, mixer. I better go ahead and put my bead in here. We're going to use this bead. I have one with the, um, with the, uh, this flex edge. I'm trying to see if I want to use that one. Um, let me get it out. I actually have one with the flex uh, that will scrape the uh, round bit in the bowl. Sometimes it don't work as good as I like it. I just go and scrape it with my spatula, but we're going to try this tonight. So I already cut some of these uh, these sticks of butter. I just chop them up because if you like chop them up, it's much better than putting them in that hole. We're going to beat this, let it beat for about 10 minutes on high, let it cream. Okay, I did say I'm going to put this in. Yeah, go ahead and subscribe, like, share, hit that notification bell. And you know what, y'all? This one, I don't even know if this is the right one because I have a couple of mixes. This one. Well, actually, you know what? We don't, this is the one supposed to came, but we can ready to see if this is going to work. Let me see if this is the right one. I'm going to put this in here so like this. I always be struggling with these things. I don't know why. Okay, now I'm going to see if this is going to work. Oh, yeah, this is the right one. This just looks kind of strange. Okay, so I have eight sticks of salted butter that I was ready to put in here. And you can use unsalted butter, but if you do, you would need to add just a little bit of salt in there so your buttercream will not be so sweet. I just like my buttercream to be delicious, tasting like ice cream. And also, I have some vanilla flavor. I'll show you my vanilla flavor. We're going to uh, put it here. This is Sweet Tex High Ratio Shorten. You can get the Walmart brand, but it has to be short to make sure you don't get the vegetable. Get the one in the blue can that does not um, say, they say vegetable. Short. Make sure you don't have the yellow, blue, and red, I believe. Just get the plain blue one. And we have some flavor. I have some flavor we're going to use. I have some Wilton's flavor and I have some Watkins uh, clear flavor. If you want your buttercream to be nice and white, make sure to use a clear flavor. And you, you're going to color your buttercream, which I am going to color some of this. It really don't matter. Okay? So I'm going to let this uh, beat cream up for about 10 to 15 minutes. This out here cream up really, really good. And you see how the, the flex uh, bead is catching everything on the side. So we'll deal with this for a minute. So I'm going to let this be. I'm going to let it cream till it's almost right. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to I'm gonna come back and show you how this buttercream looks like. It's yellow now, but when, you, when I come, come back, it's going to be actually white. And you let it cream until it's white. Then that's when you begin to add your powdered sugar, your vanilla, and you can add a little water or you can add uh, some creamer or milk. A lot of times I don't have to add extra uh, liquid to my buttercream, okay? So I'm gonna come back in about 15 minutes. So stay tuned. Hello, hello, I'm back with this buttercream. Um, this right here, I uh, mixed, had eight sticks of butter because some people might wasn't watching the first video. Eight sticks of butter and two cups of high ratio shorten. And if you look real close, you can see that it is like white. It was yellow, but it is absolutely done. Let me see if I can get a little bit out of here. So I, white that is real pretty and white. So now we're going to add um, 
the powdered sugar in, and I'm not gonna add all of it in. I'm just gonna add some of it in. I'll put my vanilla in there later. This is the powdered sugar. And I always, always weigh my ingredients out. When I'm baking, I go by weight. So you'll get the exact measurements when you go by weight. And no, I did not sift my Domino's powdered sugar. You can sift. You will hear 20, 20 to 30 version about sift, not sift. The Domino's, it's already fine. I never had a problem. My buttercream comes out silky. So, I'm going to just put a few cups here at a time. We're going to let this mix up. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what it looks like. And as I have some, um, it's some creamer in here. I use some uh, creamer, just a little bit of creamer and hot water. So, I mix that. So, we're going to put just a little bit of this after this uh, gets mixed up a little. So, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, hit that notification bell, and I'm going to get this mix, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, y'all, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, y'all. The buttercream, uh, buttercream jewel, can't talk my, I've uh, finished my buttercream, and if you want your buttercream to be very, very white, good and white, what you can do, this violet, you add, take a toothpick, you take a toothpick and add a tiny, tiny. When I say a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. It has to be valid. Don't use purple. Now, if you put too much in there, you're going to have a valid cake or a lavender cake, okay? So I just add just a tad, and this is the consistency that I want my buttercream to be. So it does, and you want to get all of those um, bubble, air bubbles out. You don't want a lot of air bubbles because when you go to pipe, um, put it in your bag, you have air bubbles that'll mess up your piping skills. But I'm just using this to uh, frost the cake. So there it is, the American butter cream. Absolutely delicious. So until next time, don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Uh, hit that notification bell for all the uploads. And if you want to store this, I have these bins that I got from Sam's. And this is a six quart, six quart. And you can just put this in, uh, make sure it's tight, because this is airtight and this does really well. And just put your buttercream in your containers. You can leave them in the fridge for about like two weeks. Uh, most of the time, I'll be done use up mine within two weeks. And you can freeze uh, buttercream. You can freeze this for a very long time. And when you take it out in the freezer, you let it come to uh, room temperature in the refrigerator. And then you just re-whip it, and it'll be just as delicious, if not better. So thanks for watching my channel, and watch out for the next video. And go ahead on to make you some buttercream, some American buttercream.